Since experiencing the scale of the mountains for the very first time as a young teen, I've always felt their calling. From that moment on, I did everything I could to continue reveling in their epic blend of beauty and raw natural power. I've been able to compete and ski in some of the raddest places across the world. It's been a privilege, and it still is. But the big question now is what do the mountains of all our futures look like? It isn't hard to see that climate change is affecting our natural landscapes and seasons. Switzerland just recorded its highest ever January temperatures. So call this something like a journey of self-discovery and a lesson from someone who really does know better. I'm here in Lech, Austria, and joined by none other than Freeride World Tour champion, Nadine Volner. Together we're heading off-grid into the backcountry calmness of nature to remind ourselves of what the mountains have to offer. Nadine is a fully qualified local mountain guide, so today I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna take it easy, I'm gonna listen, I'm gonna learn, and I'm gonna worry about very little else other than keeping up. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah. Hi, mate. Hey. Well, oh, I'm ready. Mates. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Yeah. This is mega. This is your hometown. Yeah. Do I look, I look ready? <laughs> I feel like I don't look as ready as you, but I'm going to follow you and do whatever you tell me to do. That's totally fine. <laughs> Sweet. Let's go, eh? Huh? Right. Well, it certainly is a beautiful set, Nadine. Where are we heading? We're going to skin up here to the call and then we get the first view of the whole zone we're gonna sneak around today and tomorrow nice. it's super nice sunset and sunrise spot so you're gonna love it <laughs> <laughs> so skin's on and we're ready yeah. to go up skin's on and ready to go Let's do it. all set all set i'm happy i'm comfy let's go eh? Thank you, lead on please no. here we go <laughs> This is home, huh? Yeah, it's nicer. Eh? <laughs> it's really no wonder you become such a good free rider, honestly. Living the dream. <laughs> yeah, living the dream. Riding something like that is gnarly enough, but riding it for a competition in less than perfect conditions, I mean, how do you approach that? It's not every day of powder day, and so you just go out and ski, and then you're kind of prepared for bad conditions in a competition. In the park, we know that what you do is banana bread, but like, <laughs> banana you bread. know, and, and that we don't. But we do feel, you know, a lot closer to you guys than, you know, maybe we do on the Alpine side. Like, do you think the same or, or are you guys like, no, nah, we're way gnarlier than you. We don't want nothing I to do with you. I think the same. Really? We're both red skiers. <laughs> <laughs> That leads me quite nicely on to like winning a free ride world tour. Oh, that was really great. <laughs> it was kind that. of we were just a bunch of friends going to this contest and having fun and ski. And it wasn't important for me to win it, you know. So I, I just went there and uh, whatever happened. You just take it as it comes. Yeah. Maybe maybe that's the lesson there, you know. <laughs> it was for sure more mental the second year, and you know, I won it back to back. Coming into an event with an expectation has got to be different. You, you can't yeah. have been as playful the second time around. Right? Yeah, but a friend just uh, gave me the advice. Uh -huh. You won it. Everything else is an add-on. So have fun. <laughs> True. The pressure of competing, do you miss that? Yeah, sometimes. I, I would aim for for some comps again. You would? <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Like if you got a wild card. Yeah. Well, you, if I you'd would take get it? a wild card, I would take it, yeah. Oh, <laughs> sick. That's quite cool. There we go. They're dropping it in. <laughs> See if anyone's listening. Can we go down there? Yes. Awesome. No, you I nearly didn't make it on the, the very last step of the day. <laughs> really. 
So here's the bedroom, a lot of blankets, so we're not getting too cold. And we're gonna stay as long as we can in here and doing a proper fire huh, for dinner. Ooh, in so, the palace? Yes. Yeah, come on, where's the fire? So we got some tomato soup, bene, beef stroganoff and the stew. Huh? I want it all, honestly. I've never been so hungry in my whole entire life. I need a, yeah, we definitely get beef strong enough on the go. No way, that smells so good already. <laughs> it looks not too bad, eh? Is it all right? What are you like with sharing? Not yeah, a problem. Sure. Yeah, no. cool. Me, me neither. Come on. Come on. So you like my cooking? Yeah, wonderful. Michelin star. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. If all the restaurants come with a view like that, that's good. I was really nervous. No, you weren't. <laughs> you knew exactly what it was going to taste like. <laughs> You've been here your whole life, though, you know? Like, I mean, at what age did you start coming into the backcountry? Oh, my dad is a mountain guide, so he took us pretty early out there. Five, six years old. So it's still the biggest gift, I guess. Oh, I just can't imagine having grown up with that. That's, that's so cool. But also, my, my passion for it comes from... The fact that I didn't, you know, so, so that's, that's, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's cool too. Yeah. That's more impressive for me because he told us everything he knows. So we just have our own private backcountry teacher. <laughs> I thought you were just about to say you had your own private backyard because I'm sure there were much less people out here. Yeah, uh, it's getting yeah. more busy, yeah. More people assessing danger, but also more people potentially causing danger. You see it very often that people are somewhere they should not be. Really? People just following tracks and they don't know that they are in the backcountry and uh, that they can release avalanches and get buried. They just don't know. And just oblivious to the danger. Yes. You can read a lot about the processes and do a bunch of avalanche courses, but uh, you know, at the end you decide to drop in if you drop or not. I do need to ask you about the climate. You've been right here your whole life. What are you seeing in that regard? Yeah, there's some changes. The weather got uh, more turbulent, so you have uh, rising temperatures and falling temperatures in a short time, which affects the snowpack and uh, also the avalanche danger. We have less snow. Like last year in March, we didn't have any snowfall the whole month. So we're up here now, it's, it's been really fun, you know, like stoking a fire, we don't have electricity, like we can't just jump online and check the forecast for tomorrow or anything like that. Like, do you have a conceived plan or were you making decisions today uh, while we were coming up about what we're going to do tomorrow? Yeah, for sure, you, you check at home the weather and everything, mm -hmm. but uh, you always should be flexible to adapt to the conditions because it's always different and it can be different than you saw that it's gonna be. We were coming up and I saw you like looking about all the time and I'm like, okay, cool. I'm just, yeah, just yeah, checking yeah. the scene, like, <laughs> I think it's safe, so tell me if it's not safe. But 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 we kind of scoped a zone right there, like a face that we'll ski tomorrow. Is that, is that what we'll do first thing? Yeah. We're, we're up early tomorrow, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it would be cool to get up there at yeah, for a sunrise. I'm really excited to be up there. I just don't know how I'm going to feel getting out of my sleeping bag to get up there. You know, <laughs> that's the only thing I'm there. Let's go to bed. Eh? Woody? Yes? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Skins? Go, eh? yeah. This is very exciting. <laughs> Wow. Looking pretty fun.
Nadine, thank you so Amazing. much. It's, uh, it's been a privilege to check out you in your natural environment, learn from you uh, and see everything that you're up to. It's, it's amazing. It's been it a privilege. It was my pleasure. Hey? Let's rock, Nadine. Get I don't know which way again. to go. I don't even know if there is a house down there. So you, you show me. <laughs> I'm still following. I bring you back to the car. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Please. Please okay. do. Let's go. Huh? One day, baby, we'll be old. Go, oh, baby, we'll be old. Think of all the stories that we Mega.